Hey, Gordy, do you know what time it is? Oh, that's right. I forgot your dog. Well, since you're listening, Gordy, it's time to start the podcast. Hit it, guys. Oh man, that's the first time I ever tried to actually use a theme song for this podcast, and I hope I can try that in the future. Because I figured yesterday I morphed both our, my audio with Michael, Kobe, and Logan, so I'm like, why well, morph the audio with the other audio I did before? And now I think I can actually do theme songs now, so let's see. This, this one is just a test, though. I'm not really sure if it'll actually work out. And... Um... So basically, I was talking about, there's going to be some clicking because I'm doing some editing, I'm sorry, um, but um, I'm editing a video right now and, you know, some of you are going to see what's going to happen in the future, or in like 10, like, when this video goes up, around the time, yeah. So, man, well week, we've got gold mine of news actually coming out right now, and so, um, we got seven top stories, and then, yeah. So, I'm going to start off with my week, but for first, I need to do something very quick. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. And, now, okay, so my week so far has been okay. Last time I checked up with you guys, I wasn't in too much of a rush of trying to get the podcast done that day, because the next day and the day after that, I was going to have a free day off from um, my job. So, or whatever, you know what I mean. Anyway, um... So, I've been, so far, just been, um, um, whatchamacallit, I have been just, you know, lazing around, looking at old news, things went on personally, but like I say, I'm not going to get that personal, because I don't want to bore you. Let's just say I'm right, but no one believes me. But, that's about two things. One, in the gaming world, like Ubisoft, but I'll get to that later, other things in the actual world I live in. Where no one will believe me, but like always, I'm right. This happened last year, I don't know why no one learns from their mistakes. Anyway, um, so what happened is, I picked up um, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare for my Xbox, and I'll get to that later, because that's part of the news too. That's number six, so that's close to the end. Um, but, you know, I'm just been, um, um, what should we call it? I've played that. And I've had like a two day round with it because I didn't really buy it. Because Call of Duty now, after Ghost, Ghost wasn't a bad game, but it wasn't a great game either. It was just not bad. And now, uh, after that, I'm skeptical because the thing that hooked me out was character customization, especially across like more than one character, which I thought was cool. So I was able to have my own squad of people. So, yeah, some people know where that was going. Um, but, um,. You know, I was like, oh, so maybe, oh, I'm just, and since it's not too, um, since it's not too, um, what do you call it, and the eyes of the beholder anymore like it used to be, I think it'd be a good idea if I just rent it this time, and I did, and oh my god, it's a good game, but like I said, I'm gonna get to that later. Um, I picked up that, I, um, 
I ran out of gold literally just yesterday. So a lot of it was <laughs> uh, me trying to use uh, was just playing online as much as I could, and I did. Uh, I went yesterday into a street fighting tournament, and I thought that was kind of cool. Um, well, it was at home, so I was just um, I was um, been I've been um, just playing with my friends and family, especially my dad, because my dad back in the day used to play that like a lot, and that was just the funniest thing. Of being him at it, especially Street, um, street Fighter across um, Tekken. Um, so it was um, God, I I, I really can't speak right now. Um, <laughs> I can't really um, I don't want to explain. Um, so um, yeah, it's been like a minute talking about mm, moms. So um. I've been doing, after that, I've just been, I went to a football game, which I thought was going to be our last high school football game we were going to have, but apparently it wasn't. Thanks, thanks, Close West. You used your power of losing against you this time, because we didn't lose. We won. And we had to perform at every football game, well, most of them at least. And since, and no one wanted to do this one, we had to do the football show. And no one remembers the football show, so... Yeah, I was ready to play the actual marching show. <laughs> um, um, so I've been just, you know, lazing around. I got back. Oh, yeah, I already told you. We got back from uh, L.A. So. Oh, so marching season after Thursday is done. We just have this one thing for our school district where we have to um, just perform with other bands, mostly like, you know, uh, other high schools. Um um, I think, I, I'm, I know for a fact there's some, uh, intermediate schools, can't really tell if, I can't remember if there's elementary schools, I don't think so. Ah, oh, man, 8th grade band night was, like, the best year to have a band night, because that was, like, the thing, I, I had a lot of memories from that night, just with a person, and it was just amazing. <laughs> Me, myself, and, yeah, so, <laughs> It was a good night that year back in the day. Um, so I've been um, I just like reliving that again, but seeing other little kids relive it too, which just would be like amazing. Like last year, it worked so well. It was just a lot of things went on that that day was the thing that helped want me go into marching band, that and like football games. So like. Band night and football games maybe want to go into marching band, which is cool because uh, it's been like something I've always wanted. Now that I can do that, now I've touched the fields and been to the outer world, I can make it. And I've always been loving marching band ever since, and it's been it's a cool thing. May not be good at management though, but I'm one hell of a marcher. <laughs> I mean, I have to start getting good because if I don't, they're gonna cut me. I'm willing to wager that's gonna happen, but I'm a pretty good marcher on the field. So, um, um, uh, and so, um, there, th there's that happening. And so, um, I've just been, after that, I've just really been, um, just lazing around, playing some games. Viva Pinata came out, uh, was free, so I got hold of that. And I'm going to try something new, because um, uh, due to, oh yeah, Halo, the Master Chief Collection came out. And so, I've just been, um, uh, I've just been, you know, um, I was going back to some old Halo games, and I was playing, um, what you call it, I was playing um, Halo Four, I'm like thinking, oh, there's theater mode. I can record video, and I can probably get those videos off from my Xbox onto the computer, and I can, you know, put my audio, my recording, so I can do like a live commentary. Then I thought, wait a minute, Halo Reach, you're able to record the campaign, which is something Halo Four doesn't have for some reason, maybe because of RAM, I don't know. And um, so I'm like, maybe I can actually play Halo Reach for you guys. So, you know, expect that coming up if it works. If it doesn't work, I'm sorry if I got your hopes up. I doubt I did. And. <laughs> No, so I've been 
just doing things. Um, and um, I've been um, just, you know, I've just been doing things, I guess. I want to get into news, but, like, the first po- part of these podcasts have to be just going out with my week. I'm editing a video right now, so I'm getting really distracted. This is really unprofessional. I'm being really unprofessional today. I'm a bad person. Um, so, basically, um, publish. Um, so, I've been, um, just doing things, doing energy things, so, yeah. Um, I really want to get back into doing more collaboration, um, videos with some of my friends, you know, and, um, so if I can ever get them back with me, I can do that. Um, what movies did I watch? I haven't really watched many movies. Um, have I? Let's see, I'm gonna go through the week in my mind for a second, give me a second. Vroom, vroom, oh yeah. I re Boy in the Striped Pajamas that I quickly turn off Boy in the Striped Pajamas because I want to cry like a little baby. That movie is so sad. Oh my god. If you don't know what Boy in the Striped Pajamas is, just watch the film. It's a good movie. But oh my god, it's sad. It is depressing. It is... Just, oh my god. You probably heard about it already. But oh my. That's just sad. I don't... Uh, Oh, man. So, yeah. I was just... Oh, God. That movie's just sad now, I think. But uh, I watched End of Watch for the first time in my life. And, oh, my God. I'm going to add that to the list of films that will make you racist. Um, Don't take that the wrong way. I'm not a racist person, really. I've just, you know... um, I've been, I, I just, because there's a certain movies that will make you think differently of different people. And, and Watch was one of those movies that almost did that to me. Like, um, uh, um, oh, my video's being cued for a second. Um, anyway, I've just been, um, I watched that and, like, like I said, it's going to add to the list of movies that will make you somewhat racist. Um, Black Hawk Down was the one about for African Americans. Um, the Hurt Locker for, you know, that group of people in Iraq or something like that. Um, you know, Passion of the Christ, you know where I'm going with that one. Um, Boy in the Striped Pajamas is the one that makes you go for white people. Um, or Schindler's List, too. Um, um, it's another one. Just... A list of films and or oh, uh, Gran Torino, um, Asians, Pearl Harbor again, Asians. Um, it's just though, just really though, these movies exist, and I wish they didn't make me think like this, but this actually happens. End of watch for Mexicans, yeah, I'm Mexican, so that really, really, really hurt because they're it's about gang members, and, and uh, it's about Jake Joan Hall, he's a cop. And he's filming his entire, like, day, or more than one day, he's filming. He's doing a documentary for his class um, about the day in the life of a cop. And he's filming all these problems, like he and his uh, partner get into a fight with this guy, lives at a house again, and they investigate a car burning and drive by. And the ending, oh my gosh, really horrific. Um, I'm not going to spoil it for you, but just, oh man, it just makes me go, these people are horrible. Not Mexicans, but gang members, oh my god. They're just, oh, they don't stop, they don't rest, and it's just in in the way to make you seem like you're a badass, sorry for my language, but just for that, you you do that just for that? God, what does it cost, dude? Whatever happened to the days where you actually lived a bad life, not forcing yourself to live a bad life? My God. I grew up in a not-so-good neighborhood growing up, so I would, yeah, but it didn't make me want to go and take out on cops. I love cops. Uh, growing up as a kid, I always wanted to be a cop. I don't want to be one now because uh, I never really know why. I just don't want to be a cop anymore, but still, I respect my cops. One of the, one of the girls I like, her dad's a correctional officer. <laughs> the girl I like, her dad's a correctional officer. He works for the law, and... I never met him by a basic cool person, because he's a cop, he protects me, he, they all protect me, so yeah. 
Anywho, that was the uh, end of watch. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, Gordy, what'd you do this week? Oh, I forgot I walked you. I forgot I walked you today. I walked you this morning, and I came home from my two-hour walk, and then I came back here. I didn't walk you, huh, after that. I, I should have walked you today. That would been cool. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be right back, and we get with some news. Okay, so... Remember last week or the week before how I said Assassin's Creed is now going downhill from here? I wasn't wrong. Okay, so this is like half of where the title comes from. Everyone, I, I tell the truth but no one believes me, that kind of thing. Um, this is where it's coming from. Uh, Assassin's Creed uh, Unity slash Rogue came out the other day. And um, I've... I've been all over the internet, I've been on this podcast saying, oh, they shouldn't do this, this is just a cheap cash grab, they're not really going to do anything, it's just going to be the same thing, or kind of like that, you know what I mean, they're rushing these games out, just to get pocket change, basically, um, and like always, I'm right, and no one on the internet believed me, everyone said, oh, you just wait, they're going to change, um, everything you're saying is wrong, you're going to, nothing I said was wrong actually a lot 89 percent of my things have been right and i just wanted to get that out of the way because i'm going to be on my high horse right now so assassin's creed unity releases the scores favorable scores favorable and this is showing mercy because these this of what i saw from the game is just abominable um so there's a missing face textures um, glitches with the, um, glitches with these things called these points, these, like, glittery points or something. Uh, who cares? Um, there are these, uh, microtransaction things, because that's what Assassin's Creed really needed was microtransactions. Um, there are these points, and you get them, and it's just really abominable uh, on a song. It's, I can't pronounce the word. Anyway, um, just really dumb to have a glitch, or it's really dumb to have microtransactions. Like... This isn't Clash of Clans. I shouldn't need micro micro uh, micro transactions. Um, wow, that's a good still frame. Um, and so I've been I've just been um, just like that this entire time. And um, I, I'm trying. I'm changing the um, thumbnail. Um, so basically, what's the thing has been. Um, on my mind is that I don't know why this was first off published like this because Assassin's Creed I'm starting to see is having the man model put onto it like I always say is a bad idea and like always it is and they're putting the man model on Assassin's Creed and it's not working and uh, 4 was barely good I mean I liked it from what I played it was a pretty good game wasn't they fixed a lot of problems but still it wasn't that like, a pr it was impressive, but, uh, um, I mean, Pirates was kind of a step thing, a step in the weird direction, and since it was announced, um, just a few weeks after, um, a few weeks after 3 came out, or somewhere, somewhere, it, there was something with 3 that was happening, and then they just announced 4, I forgot, I think it was when 3 came out, no, it was Christmas, I think, it was one of those, um, it was towards the end of the year. And, um, you know, a year happened, and they, uh, four came out, it was okay. Three, um, we don't talk about three. Revelation, we don't talk about Revelations. Um, Brotherhood was amazing. Maybe because they, they didn't take, and they didn't waste, what's the word? They didn't give it a year to make it, like, always. No, they took the time, and they didn't want to bullcrap the story, so they took the time and did that. Like, two. Two took, what, from one. One was an original idea. One I loved because it was original. It was a good idea to have Assassin's Creed 1 Assassins in these periodic times. That was interesting, and it was cool game to play. It had some bugs there, some tweaks. So you came to like parkour, which is a problem that's never fixed in these games. And because of the movement, because you got to run, and the guy, the character you play as loves to step on everything. So, yeah. And um, I was like, okay, this can be a little better. Um, so, um, Assassin's Creed 2 came out, amazing game, one of the best, if it wasn't that one, it'd be Brotherhood. Those two were the best games in the entire series, 
I, I think, had the best parkour, had a bunch of things fixed from one that were problems and just whisked them away. Really good games, really enticing story. Um, but, and then Brotherhood came out, it's like, still a good game, you know, still has that, you know, problem. And it was really, actually felt um, like your fails felt kind of cheap in that game, but still a good game nonetheless. Revelations bored me. It was not bad. It was, I give it a six because it bored me. There was a time where the missions just wanted me to do something, and the sake of doing something, it was just no. And um, I've been. Uh, I'm not going on my week. Um, <laughs> I'm I'm thinking of, like too many things right now. And then three came out, and I'm like, okay, Revolu oh, revolutionary war. Okay, um, this doesn't like. What? Revolutionary War? Um, and this didn't really feel, it felt me, but in the way of like, it would feel anybody else. Um, it just didn't really get me the way the, the thing wanted me to. And so, I've, uh, so, I, I, it's been like that for a while. And since they can never for some reason want to fix any problems, a lot of problems that are still in the series still persist, like parkour, and I'm still trying to figure out why parkour still is a problem when it shouldn't be. Um, um, so, yeah, and so it's been released, to l a Polygon gave it a 6.5, the only time I'm going to agree with Polygon on something, and it's about been around a forgiving 7.1 or 7 71% should be way 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 lower maybe just at uh, 5 at best cuz yeah and rogue did better rogue was um basically their way of saying see we didn't forget about you last gen people so we're getting throw mixed around the story basically and it's going to tie into unity don't do that please cuz that's probably what Freaking punch you in the stomach with this game is you put also a lot of development time to rogue. Not that it's a bad thing, but if Unity was playable, you know, it's not not playable, but it's just some. And they want you to spend like I think a hundred dollars on I forgot what, but you know. And now since we're going to go off from Assassin's Creed, we're gonna because too many people fanboys are protecting this game. Fanboys will always do that. I hate fanboys, okay? Ubisoft is... Okay, let's go into Ubisoft then. Ubisoft is creating fanboys to protect their franchises. It's been like that for a while. Um, what should we call it? Um, Far Cry 3 created fanboys for Far Cry. None of them probably didn't. If they did, I applaud them. I count myself wrong playing uh, Far Cry 2. And I'm like... I heard a door slam, sorry. Um, and Far Cry 2. And, um, if they did, I applaud them, I count me wrong, but most of the time, most fans of Far Cry these days, they don't really, they're not really huge fans of Far Cry, they're just, um, they're just posers, kind of. And if you are one, and I just count, called you a poser, I am sorry, uh, I am wrong. And, you know, if you are a fan, that's good for you, good on you. Not, It's not a bad series, it's not going downhill like Assassin's Creed, but... Uh, Far Cry comes out in like two days, so our, yeah, I mean, it's just like not the best time to be in Ubisoft's shoes right now, and I've just realized, uh, I'm sorry, I just finished my computer work right now, so give me a break, um, okay, now I can get back on the podcast, um, so, like I said, it's Korean fanboys. Far Cry isn't a bad series. It's actually a great series, but, you know, with Far Cry 4, and, yeah, people are defending this game, and it's not bad, okay? I'm just getting bored of Far Cry now, because people are talking about it too much, and it's coming out now in a year. Usually, Far Cry would have taken five years at the most, or something, to be made. Now it's coming out two years after Far Cry 3. Or, Far Cry 3, yeah. Like, I mean, it's not a problem. It's kind of like what we're seeing from Halo. Remember, Halo took five years to make, but now Halo 5 was announced two years, maybe three, not two years, two years after four, 
and it's coming out next year, and the beta was released, we'll get to that too, um, but, um, still, you can't just do this, Bethesda does this all the time, um, with Fallout, no one will stop talking about Fallout, but I'm willing to wager barely any of them have played in Fallout 1 or 2, and it's just going to be like that. Fallout is not going downhill, but it's like, I'm not really too cool, um, too crazy about Fallout anymore. Like I used to, I'm not really weighing off Far Cry 4's announcement. If it is, I'm just going to go, oh, that's cool, for the first two days, and be like, uh, oh, happened. Um, so, um, or, um, with them in, uh, Skyrim. I mean, they're using these, like, um, their fan base, and they're kind of abusing it, too. What do you think of Elder Scrolls Online was? You thought that was honest to good? No, that was them trying to get your money from Skyrim. Grant, they already said a bunch of times it's not going to have dragons, but people are like, oh, Elder Scrolls, people who loved Oblivion, who are also fanboys of Oblivion, and Skyrim. They're, they're like, oh boy, oh man, Elder Scrolls Online, this is going to be so cool, it's kind of the thing we want, you know, mystical elves and stuff and whatnot, this is the thing we want. And they played it, and I played it for a bit at my friend's house, and no, this is just a cheap way, it, there wasn't really good lo um, quest design, there wasn't really this, it was missing something. Which is a way of saying Bethesda really wanted to grab your money, I mean, um, believe it or not. Okay, I mean, I can believe it too, Bethesda has done some, you know, cash in things, like Evil Within. I'm not going to talk about it today, maybe later, because there's not much to talk about, but yeah. Now this is Ubisoft. Ubisoft is now worse than EA, which is something hard to do. And I saw this coming from Ubisoft a long time ago. So, um, um, which one caught? U -E UA UA yeah it's called UA so UA <laughs> um it's I ship it um just now it's just Ubisoft being dumb I guess I don't know so U E A oh my god I can't get that out of my head now um EA has just been you know now been having its crown taken away by Ubisoft Ubisoft quote says we want to take sixty dollar customers and turn them into $200 customers. Why? Okay, it doesn't work for EA, it doesn't work for Ubisoft, and EA is kind of a good guy in some situations because EA actually um, kept some games on Steam because they learned if you keep it off Steam, no one's gonna play your games on uh, your PC. Okay, I'm glad Sims 3 is still on there or else hell hell of a broken loose because you know, Steam, uh, Sims 4 isn't, but uh, Sims 3 is way better than, um, yeah. Uh, so, um, gosh, this is hard. Um, the more the podcast goes on, the older I get. Just keep that in mind. Um, but it's been like that for years. And Ubisoft is taking the crown and I'm like I don't want this to happen because Ubisoft I used to respect you I believe it or not one of my favorite I have three favorite Ubisoft franchises and I'm not in no particular order uh, Rainbow Six um, okay maybe four Ghost Recon believe it or not Raymond slash Rabbids th those series and Splinter Cell and those are my four favorite. Those four, you cannot mess up. If you do, I'm going to hurt you. I mean, Blacklist was good. It was a great game, but a little lower than Conviction. I'd rather play Conviction in some cases, but, you know, it's okay. Uh, Rainbow Six Siege, you better not mess that up because that's one of my favorite series. Not too wild on Division, though. Division seems weird. Um... Ghost Recon is... Future Soldier was an amazing game. Advanced Warfire was a great game. And I love Future Soldier because it had all these features. You didn't restrict anything from us. You know, except... No, you didn't. Because then I played the multiplayer. I was actually able to before you you play was a thing. Thank you. And, and co-op. and Yeah. Really, though, that was at your high time. I, like, that was my summer was playing Ghost Recon. 
It was like my month of like triumphant games, I like to call it. Because that's what it was, basically. But, and Rabbids and Raymonds, you did an excellent job with Raymond Legends. Honestly, hands down, your best platformer. But, you know, we can't... You, you're you barely on the mode of playing, of messing up Raymond right now. And I don't want you to do that. And since Raymond was actually in some cases better than Super Mario 3D Land, which is the 3DS version, don't get don't get confused, Nintendo fanboys. Um, yeah, and Rabbids was cool. I loved Rabbids just as a stupid fun thing to get to play. It was a really fun game, especially Rabbids Go Home. I love Rabbids Go Home. I, I'm 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 a completionist. So I want to get 100% on Rabbids Go Home. That's cool. Ubisoft, don't mess anything up. You've been making too many mistakes. I hope you can clean up because this is uncalled for. If anybody can defend you, how and why and why? No, why? You've done nothing of forgiveness and I don't see why anybody should forgive you. So, I should probably get off that before I get off my um, thing. Okay, so, sorry I got a little serious there. Um... So, Sonic. Sonic Boom. The Sonic Boom is basically a s pseudo kind of semi reboot of the Sonic franchise. It's a redesign or a rematch. I don't know what it is. It's just a, it's a different thing from Sonic. It's not really a reboot because Sonic's always going to look like Sonic. And so, you know, it's not a reimagining. It's never a reboot. There's never really a reboot. I don't think it should be called a reboot. After, um,. Sonic, um, came out for the, um, which I'm going uh, this came out for, uh, Smash Brothers, I don't really think it's much of a reboot. So it's not a reboot, I don't know, I'm reimagining, something like that. Um, maybe it's a different world, I don't know. So, Sonic, um, Sonic, uh, Boom, in the Rise of the Lyric is a game you play on your Wii U. And... It's broken. Somehow more broken than Unity, and it's broken. Which just sucks because I'm kind of was kind of hyped for that game, and when I heard it was released, I was like, "Really, it's released?" What people say, "Oh God," and that's what happened. Um, so there's this glitch in the game, which is the deal breaker for every game. There's a lot of reviews gone down because this glitch. Is speedrunners have able to beat this game? Haha, <laughs> speedrunners pun. Anyway, um. <laughs> I've been able to beat this game in about an hour. Um, because there's this glitch where if you play as Knuckles and you're jumping in midair, right? You pause the game and you can fly across the entire map and beat beat the game like that. And it's more of like a plat uh, kind of an action adventure platformer more than it is kind of to the traditional Sonic games. It's kind of different and it has some mechanics that are not really seen in those games. And, and it's just a broken mess. Um, it, it, there's other things wrong with it that I can't really say right now. I don't know why. It just, it's just a broken little mess they have there. And I don't know. And I feel really bad for Sonic because Sonic really needs to come up quick. I hope this isn't the last of Sonic, but I hope this is the last of bad Sonic games. I do not like the way they're portraying Sonic right now. It's just... I, Sonic was... I remember, I know the entire Sonic X theme song. <laughs> Sonic's been around with me for so long. So it's just, nah, I don't want it to go away. <laughs> and so, um, yeah. Sonic, please, please, just, Sega, give him a chance. Get some, look at old Sonic games. Sonic Generations was one of your best newer Sonic games. And... Look at that, and look at some of your old good Sonic games. I want you to look at those. And I want you to t take, okay, what do we do here? How do we make this good? And just do what you did to make those good. Because this here is... Nah, 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 pull out the collar. Like, Lost World was great. Okay, Lost World was actually a great game. If you play it, you can call it... um. Super Sonic Galaxy, but it was a great game. IGN gave, uh, gave a very underrated review because IGN didn't talk about a lot in that review. So, yeah. Gordy's all sleeping. Aww. 
<laughs> I'm just sleeping there. Um, so, yeah, Sonic, Sega, can you guys just, just, just leave Sonic alone for a second, guys? He's, he's got a rough, he's had a rough night. Okay. So, um, hey, hey, Gordy, oh, you forgot your sleep. I was going to ask you if you're ready to escape. Because are you ready to escape Dead Island? I forgot you're asleep. So, <laughs> Escape Dead Island is a game. Or if, okay, so if you don't know what the Dead Island series is, it's a, a game series, a zombie game series, where the scenario is taking place on some sort of island or swamp in some cases. Um, and so, Escape Dead Island is a midquel between Dead Island One and the upcoming or forthcoming. I don't know what the difference really. Um, Dead Rising, uh, Dead Rising, Dead Island 2, and first person RPGs, yeah, 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 and I'm scared for this game, not scared of this game, scared for it, because, okay, if you remember, Dead Island 1 is, had, was voted, in my opinion, the saddest game trailer to a game ever, the saddest, look it up and watch it, and tell me you're not going to feel sad after that. Dead Island 2, however, is completely different. One of the funniest that came out this year. Not the funniest, one of the funniest. And I'm like, this is really different from the Dead Island 1 trailer. Because, <laughs> oh, because I think Jack Black came out at the end and he was just um, doing a thing. So, check both those trailers out if you want to see a real comparison. And Escape Dead Island is a midquel that's like a third person action adventure. Okay, the reason why I'm scared for this game, more for the series though, is because, um, okay, first off, there's three different Dead Island games coming out. Dead Island Epidemic, which is a top-down MOBA-type game. De Escape Dead Island, which is your, um, which is a, um, third-person, you know, action-adventure kind of game. And Dead Island 2 is a first-person RPG game. For consoles, and I'm just hoping because Dead Island One wasn't nothing spectacular, and Dead Island Reptile did really nothing to change that opinion. Okay, um, and it's just Dead Island One was really buggy, and Dead Island Epidemic wasn't either. Uh, was either uh, was too, and now they're and also the same people are working on Dying Light, and so that's uh, Dying Light's the same thing, but it's like a different type of scenario, but still. Um, it's just, Dead Island, this seems like one of these games that are really unstable, and it is, because there used to be this glitch where if you pressed Y while playing co-op, you're able to fly, and it was just, uh, and it just needs a game that needs all your attention. I've seen the betas to Dead Island Epidemic, N nothing bad, really, it actually looks kind of good so far, but that's just the beta, and, um, so that looks decent. Escape Dead Island has, like, thing going on with it. It's um this um cell shade kind of thing that looks kinda of cool but looks a little this fragile and then Dead Island 2. And all we've seen from that is like a um a, a CGI trail. So really not really much going for it. I guess. I mean it's going there's something going for it, I mean it's just like this doesn't seem like a good idea. I mean, I, it's one of those series that really needs everyone's full attention. So, just don't do anything wrong with it, I guess, Techland. Or whoever is now publishing your game, Deep Silver, I think. So, I, Actually, I trust Dead Island 2. And maybe I skip down, I don't know who's making that one. Because Dead Island 2 is actually being made by Jaeger. Who, if you don't know, made Spec Ops Line. You know, that game everyone's like, oh, this is just like any other third-person shooter, or third-person military shooter kind of game, and you actually played it, and you're like, I have to think about my morals everywhere I go, because De uh, Spec Ops Line was, if you don't know, was a really great game, which is start off like, oh, your average uh, military shooter, nothing really different. Then you start understanding guilt, and you understand, it question yourself, because the enemies were U.S., um, rogue U.S. troops going against its own country, you're like, okay, I'm killing them, but I feel kind of weird, because these, these are the enemies, right? I mean, they're labeled enemy, I, sh I shouldn't feel bad. 
And then I, the, in the end of the game, I actually felt guilty. It makes you think. It's a modernized version of uh, John Conrad's Heart of Darkness. It makes you think. It makes you feel guilt. And yeah. so I trust Jaeger. They don't do anything. I know they'll do what they've lived up to do, considering um, I, th I've seen Spec Ops line, nothing cliched really out of that. And I trust you, Jaeger. Don't bomb us. I'm not a drummer, but my friend is. She's a drummer. Okay, so I can cross the island off my list and on my docket. Um, so, um, now on to Halo. So, the other day, Halo Combat Eve, not Combat Evolved, I never streamed it. Halo, Ma the Master Chief Collection, um, was released the other day. And from what I can tell, people really liked it. Great, com um, great release of four of the Master Chief games, or Master games Master Chief appeared in on the Xbox One, uh, with the, an inclusion of the remastered version of um, Halo 2, because they already did Halo, th uh, Halo 1, which, okay, which leads me to the question, why didn't they, um, yeah, why didn't they put um, Anniversary 2 on the 360? It's not a really big problem, I just really wish they did that. Because that would have been cool. That's kind of something we've been waiting for on the 362. Especially since we can't um, get a copy of Halo 2 on the consoles like um, On Demand System. Or Xbox Originals On Demand System. Which I find weird. But if they could do that somehow for the Xbox 360, that'd be sweet. I'm looking at these games. Or uh, Halo 2 more. And uh, Halo 5 Guardians Beta. Which came with the copy if you pre-ordered it or something. And um, I I played I I'm, I play I haven't played it yet. Um, but um, Halo Two because that's what all people are showing because that's like the main like thing that they're showing right now because um it's their time this time. And actually to go with that um trilogy um to go with that collection, they showed off um that was like their trailer for the um Halo Five was Halo Two, which is actually a smart idea. So, I just can't wait for Halo 3's uh, thing, uh, um, Anniversary Edition, which is not going to happen for a while until 25th, 2025, because that's its 10-year uh, thing. The reason why they're doing it now is because it's its 10-year uh, Halo game. That's why uh, Anniversary for Halo 2 came out, like, what, um, three, two... Three years, maybe around around three five years around um, anniversaries. Anniversaries, and then came out two thousand ten. And so, if we, I I can't really remember. Um, so, you know, it's just it looks good. It was a great idea. Um, some missing features, which I never really got, um, were in the game, and um, I found that weird. So. <laughs> I can't really get this down. Um, so, um, that's all I can really say. I really play it. Oh, yeah, I can talk about Halo 5 now. Halo 5's gameplay was released onto the internet, and it's changed a lot. Okay, some features have been added, some features have been taken away, and the features that I add are really somewhat game changing. So, now you can aim down the sights with certain weapons. Okay, um, so this is. Halo never really aim down the sights unless you use a scope weapon, um, like a sniper rifle, but that's it. And Halo has never really seen like that kind of game. Halo has always felt like this kind of arcade kind of thing, you know. Left trigger sh uh, threw your grenades, and right trigger shot your gun, like any arcade game would. And, um, you know, just stuff like that. And it just seemed like a game that wouldn't really want to use aim down the sights much. But you can aim down your sights for your um, pistol and an assault rifle, your, or your battle rifle, and your assault rifle too. Or, or your assault rifle, actually, you aim to the side and you zoom in, which is different from old Halo games where you just zoomed in through your thing and that's how you aimed. And it just, it feels different, it looks different, and yeah. Um, limited sprinting. So this game actually, I should just get to it, is going like it's old days back in Halo 1. Where it was just, you start off with a pistol and you pick up weapons around the map, which is kind of cool. It's more arena rumble based kind of game. 
So that's cool to anybody who's really into those. It would be a good kind of thing for, like, almost kind of good kind of thing for tournaments. It's still Rumble and a Pit. Rumble Pit. Pit Rumble. Something like that. I don't know. So, you know, that's a really, um, thing, uh, thing that got there. Um, it's just, nah. Um, you know, it just feels different. Unlimited sprinting, um, the the life system has changed completely. It has two things now. Um, main, main like, Halo games had, well, one had the uh, health thing, and so, did, um, Halo Reach, where you got ready for shield, and you had some health, and you had med kits, um, but now, and then later, it would just be, uh, shield, and then you can take a few number of hits, and then you go down. Now it has two systems, which is confusing, because if so, this system makes me wonder, why don't you just have a bigger shield or something? Which it does, it looks like it, because it goes from, it goes from one side to the other, and then so is the health. So it goes, your shield goes down, and then you have health, like a little health bar. That actually, and that heals up, and then he, the, the shield heals up. I actually, now that I think about it, I think it's um, the amount of showing you the amount of shots you can take. I'm an idiot. But you can't heal, like your shield or anything, when you're running, like you could in Halo 4. So that's kind of cool. It makes you more immersed. You can't really move too fast. Gotta go fast. So it just... I mean, yeah, that's, this is all I can think about, uh, so, it's just, hey Gordy, um, it's now going into Halo, and this, and now we're getting into Halo Madness, and everyone's gonna talk about how Call of Duty's copying Halo, and then, yeah, cause Timefall, and it doesn't make sense, cause Timefall was in development after, um, Advanced Warfare's in development, and, you know, you can't really do that if you go wrong. So we can get off Halo now, and we can go straight on to Call of Duty. So this week, I picked up Halo... Oh, Halo. Fuck me. Um, Halo... Oh, oh my god. Call of Duty um, Advanced Warfare for my Xbox 360. I've seen the visuals at my friend's house on the PS4, and I've seen them on YouTube. Those look great, and this game holds up on the 360 a bit, and that's cool. Um... Is a good game. It is a great game, way better than Ghost. A great game, and I trust Sledgehammer was now. Now I played the game. I trust Sledgehammer were the ones who made Modern Warfare Three great, not Infinity War. So I played uh, Sledgehammer's. Or well, it was Sledgehammer's game, and but it was uh, ported by Blue uh, High Moon. If you don't know who High Moon is, they they're the ones who made those two greatly awesome. Transformer games, uh, uh, War for Cybertron, Fall of Cybertron, great games. Fall of Cybertron was amazing. I loved both games equally, and I loved um, I love War for Cyber uh, Fall of Cybertron better, but you know, still I love both those games to my heart. They helped me with trans and they um, you know brought me back to old Transformer days, and they sometimes brought tears to my eye. Um, so, I play, um, uh, oh, and they also made the Deadpool game. Anyway, um, they, so I play Advanced Warfare, beat through the campaign, and I, Ke Kevin Spacey it up, because Kevin Spacey is in the game. He is in the game, uh, and I looked at both, um, the 360 and the next, um, or I should say current gen, because Xbox One, PS4, now current gen, consoles from, um, I'm sorry, I forgot to grab water. Um, current gen consoles, and I played it, and they don't look different. They don't, they don't, they feel different. They don't look different, and um, no, I, I played the game. I enjoyed a lot of it. I enjoyed the campaign. I enjoyed the multiplayer. Multiplayer is way different. Uh, you can't customize more than one person, which is kind of a drawback, but it makes more sense now because squads is in the game. I couldn't play Exo Survival, but I really wish I had somebody else at the time because it was a two-day rental. So I was like, okay, I beat the campaign, powered through that. It was good, good, good length. I feel people. Angry Joe says it's like six hours. It's way more than six hours. It took me way more six hours to beat it, and I was on normal. And trust me, let me tell you, it's a pretty, pretty good campaign. 
Um, and people wonder, is it like Timefall? No, because, or is that like Halo? Because Halo is the main thing we're anchoring to. You can go off and say it's like Timefall, but remember, Timefall is made by people who got butt hurt when they were fired from uh, Infinity Ward um, because they got into the files they didn't want to get into. And remember, uh, Advanced Warfare has been in development for three years, whereas Timefall just got released around the time the Xbox One was announced, or was released. Um, so, and time, so no one's really, time, time falls actually kind of copying the, these people, so, yeah, and, um, yeah, time falls cover really throws me off, because it looks like they want an adventure, but I look at uh, the guys, like, oh, exploring the place, when reality is just a multiplayer game, when you're in, like, an arena-based game. I'm wearing cars pull up, it's probably mom, so, yeah. I play it, and uh, it's great. Play the multiplayer, it's amazing. It's, you see it's copying Halo, but I went straight to Halo 4 after playing Advanced Warfare, and it's way different. It felt weird. I feel like a weird person. So, I just found nothing. <coughs> I have water. <laughs> I have dry throat. Um, so, yeah. It's not copying Halo, it's its own thing. I would give it an 8.5 out of 10. And it is, oh, great welcome. I hope next year we can have more Call of Duty hype, like the ones we've seen with MW3 and Black Ops 2. I hope they continue with this. I can't actually, I actually can't wait to see what Treyarch is bringing to the table next. Call of Duty Events Warfare, 8.5 out of 10. And crossing that off the docket, so now we get to our last story. Okay, so does everyone remember, um, like, a few, like, years ago, somewhere around there, uh, the, um, oh, I'm sorry, I dropped my pen. Warcraft movie came out. Well, Warcraft just got, uh, or Warcraft movie was announced, and it has a bunch of pals, and everyone's been, like, hyping over it. People are wondering, okay, give me a second, people are home. And, um, oh, God, give me a second. <laughs> okay, I'm back. So, back in the day, um, a few years ago, the Warcraft movie was, um, announced and so now it's been double announced because now we got two posters um for the horde or the orc um, factions and the alliance factions and so now um we got our casting and you know, mr krabs is in there the guy who voiced mr krabs is in the warcraft film which i find hilarious um you know and so that's happening and now, this is a thing we've been waiting for for a while. Now that it's a confirmed, it's just been, it's actually a really cool thing. And, um, now that it's been confirmed, I am glad. Because, um, this has been a thing that's been big for a while. Ever since Warcraft, World of Warcraft, and around their speculation for the movie has been just everywhere. Especially when they announced, they had a panel for this at Comic-Con. So you could expect, you know, that to happen. Um, um, so it's just a, not a mess, but it's just a really good thing to see, you know, since after, what, five, seven, ten years, weighing on this to be released and announced. I mean, we have, like, a little tile card, but that's it. That doesn't mean anything. Now we actually have the poster and cast. So now this is actually happening. I don't know, since it's going to be more Warcraft, it's not going to be World of Warcraft. Okay, that'd be stupid. So it's going to be the um, actual Warcraft games, which were the um, top-down, real-time strategy games. And it's going to be like that. And now the cast is released, it's going to be more to that story, it, where the story was there. I'm glad to see that happening. And, you know, you never know how it's going to turn out. And it's something that's been anticipated. This could be, if you think about it, the turning point. And this is a cool timing, too, considering it's been Warcraft's year, kind of, because they just released a new expansion and their trailer from, like, because they've been around for, World of Warcraft's been around for a decade. So, you know, it's just been a really good year for them. And, yeah, really good year for Activision, too. They haven't really done two things fast, and they haven't really taken things slow, either. So that's really cool. Again, you Activision. Um, so, yeah. Um, it's just 
now that this is happening, this can, and since Warcraft has some rich lore in it, I can really, I really hope this is where games that are um, movies based off games can stop being bad. And I hope this is where they can, they can actually have a uh, height in this world. I think the only one that people thought was somewhat good was Need for Speed and um, Street Fighter. Oh, not Street Fighter. Oh yeah, Street Fighter. <laughs> I like Street Fighter and um, Mortal Kombat. Um, but uh, other than that, anything else, really. Um, so, that happens, and, yeah. That's the end of, you know, <laughs> that's the end of my docket. I just crumpled it out now. Just toss it. And I changed into, I'm in now in my room, and so I can, um, I'm now sitting in my chair, and... Um, so what's gonna happen? Okay, so now or something I would act I would have a comment question thing like I would look at your comments and answer your questions But since no one's doing that or no one's done that I have nothing to ask and You can now ask us your questions on our Twitter at low brass doshits. It's a capital dub uh, L B N D L B D capital L B D low brass doshits I'll put, it's somewhere going to be on the tile card, don't worry. And, um, on the still frame, it's going to be there. So, you now you can ask questions at our Twitter, follow us on the Twitters, and, um, you know, you can like this if you want, or rate it, or whatever you guys do now, I really don't care, I got your view, I don't care. <laughs> um, it feels so used now. Um, uh, yeah, um, like I said, what's going on on the channel, I, uh, I uploaded a, um, an introduction type thing, like a channel preview that most people have now, and I thought that was cool to have for this. And, um, oh, I think it could be a, um, that's, that's the thing. Um, I'm gonna try that Halo Reach. I'm gonna maybe do some sort of playthrough that, I don't know. I can now do theater mode. I can probably record while playing the campaign. And the thing that's gonna be the kicker is it's gonna be on Legendary. And since I suck at Halo on normal, it's gonna be hard, just harder, just, yeah. So, um, yeah. I think I can end it here. Um, so, pff. wow, I just add extra five minutes. I just need that extra five minutes. So, yeah. Bye, guys. What do you guys, oh yeah, I forgot you're not here. Well, um, bye. Yeah, finish on 55, watch this, watch this. Ready? Three, two, one.